Once your phone is set up, you may have a lot of personal information on it that you wouldn't want others to freely access, such as email accounts, contact information, and personal notes. To get to your security settings, open the Settings menu and select Security. Here, you'll want to set up a screen lock. You have four options for screen security. None, Pattern, Pin, and Password. First, I'll set up a pattern lock. First, your phone will show you these instructions to set up an unlock pattern. You can pause the video to read these, or you can just follow along. Hit Next until you get to this screen. From here, drag your finger along the screen and connect at least four dots to draw your pattern. Make sure it's something you can remember. Once you've drawn your figure, hit Continue. You'll be prompted to draw the pattern again, and when you have done this, tap Confirm. You'll be taken back to the security menu, and now you can choose how quickly your phone will be locked. You can set it to be as short as immediately after locking, or you can set it to be as long as 15 minutes after locking. I've set my phone to lock immediately. Now you can see when I wake the phone back up, I'm prompted to draw my pattern before I can access my phone. If you want to change your lock pattern or change to a different lock type, you'll be prompted to enter your current pattern, pin, or password. Next, I'll demonstrate the pin. Here, enter a number at least four digits long. Press OK or continue and re-enter your pin to confirm. Press OK and your pin will be set. Now when you try to unlock your phone, you will be required to enter your PIN number. The last lock option is for an alphanumeric password. Using this, you can set your password of at least four characters using letters, numbers, or symbols. Again, confirm your password and tap OK to set it. Again, enter your password to unlock. With each lock method, you'll still be able to place an emergency call when the phone is locked. There are additional options in the security menu. You can configure a lock for your SIM card, Choose if passwords are visible as you type them. You can also configure credential storage for your device. You can download applications to the Thunderbolt using the Android Marketplace. To open, tap on the market icon. The first time you open the Marketplace, you'll have to agree to the terms of service. Scroll through to review. Tap on accept to agree or decline to reject them. If you haven't signed in with a Google account, you'll be required to do so now. If you don't have a Google account, tap on create or if you already have one, click sign in. Here, I'll be signing in. Enter your information and tap on the sign in button. Once you've signed in with a Google account, you'll be able to access the market. At the top of the screen are featured applications. You can scroll through these, or also find other featured apps along the bottom. Applications are separated into three categories. 
apps, games, and Verizon exclusive. You can also search for specific apps and developers. Tapping on the apps option, you see they are separated into different categories. Categories include business, communication, productivity, entertainment, and many more. Here, I'll select all applications. Once you've selected a category, you can choose between top paid, top free, or just in. Selecting any of these will narrow the results. To select an application, tap on its result. On this screen, you can view the application's name, developer, rating, description, view screenshots, read and leave reviews, view related applications, developer info, and marketplace feedback. To download an application, tap on its price on the top of the screen. Applications you don't have to pay for will show free. You'll be able to review what the application can access on your phone and click OK to begin the download. You can track your download in the notification bar and once the app is finished downloading, it will automatically install. Installed applications will instantly be added to the application menu. Returning to the marketplace and selecting games, you can see that these are also grouped into different categories, including arcade and action, racing, and sports games. Under the Verizon section, you're able to find applications such as Vcast, VZ Navigator, and Skype Mobile. You can search for applications using the search feature in the pop-up menu, the magnifying glass in the top right corner, or the search soft key. Enter the name of the application, developer, or keywords, and press enter or tap on one of the search suggestions to execute the search. Results will be displayed in order of relevance. Selecting My Apps from the pop-up menu will show a list of downloaded apps as well as any currently downloading. Selecting an application here, you'll find options to launch or uninstall the application, view its rating, choose whether you want to allow for automatic updating, or you can review the app.
Opening the settings for the marketplace, you can choose if you want to be notified if your apps or games have updates available. Opening the pop-up menu from the application launcher, you're able to switch between a grid or list view. There are also additional options in the full settings menu under applications. Here, you can choose to allow installation of applications not from the marketplace. Tapping on Manage Applications, you can view downloaded applications and you can choose to uninstall. Under the Running tab, you can view what applications are currently running and you can choose individual applications to close. Under the All tab, you can see both applications you've downloaded and applications that came preloaded on the phone. The On SD Card tab will show you applications saved specifically to the installed micro SD card. Opening the pop up menu, you can choose between alphabetical and file size sort options. Returning to the Applications menu, selecting Running Services will take you to this screen. Here, you can see how much of your memory is being used by each application and how much memory you have available in total. Tapping on an application, you can choose to immediately stop the service. Tap Stop in the confirmation box. The more applications you have running, the faster you will go through your battery. It saves battery life closing applications you aren't using. Selecting Development from the application settings, you have options to enable or disable USB debugging, stay awake, and allow mock location. The last option under this menu is to enable or disable Fast Boot. Fast Boot is used mainly for application developers and for some marketplace applications.